In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Squareline Studio to create an Arduino project. We use an ESP32 room module with a 240x320 display and ILI9341 display controller. So let's get started. In the launcher of Squareline Studio, go to the Examples menu and select the Smart Gadget example. Click on the Create button to load the project. Let's try it out by clicking the Play button. After that, open the Project Settings window from the File menu. In the Board Properties section, the board group is set to Desktop by default. Change it to Arduino. You will see a board for TFT eSpy driver. It's a popular driver library for Arduino, supporting many display controllers, including our ILI9341. Also, change the resolution to 240 by 320 and click the Apply Changes button. In the Export menu, there are two options. We can create a project template or export only the UI files. Let's create a template project first. Browse a location for the project and ready. After that, let's export the UI files too. As we already created a template project, the correct location for file export is already set automatically. In the project we have created, you will find a Libraries folder, and a UI folder, and a README. The Libraries folder contains LVGL and TFT eSpy driver. As we are using not only the default font, we need to enable the other built-in fonts too, in ivconf.h. Let's enable Montserrat 18. In the UI folder, you can find the exported UI files, such as UI.C, UI.H, UI.INO, the images, and the fonts. Open the INO file with the Arduino IDE. Also open the README and follow the instructions. First, let's set the sketchbook location in the Preferences menu. After that, go to the Libraries slash TFT eSpy folder and configure the pins in UserSetup.h or UserSetupSelect.h. When it's ready, select our ESP board. If it's not added yet, go to the Preferences menu and add the URL of a new board manager. After that, in the Tools slash Board Manager menu, you can install the boards. I have already installed the ESP boards, so I only need to select the correct ones from the list. In the INO file, the display orientation is set to Landscape by default. We need to change it to Portrait by setting the parameter of TFT.SetRotation to 2. After that, all we need to do is compile and upload the project to our board. And the example will appear on the display. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to get notified about the new ones.